content creators welcome to another episode of this analysis video so for this week itself it is more on uh, midweek because uh, what we have over here is uh, looking at the later dates of this week all right so the the upcoming the closest news that we're gonna have is actually the FOMC meetings all right followed by Thursday morning we have Japan monetary policy statement as well as uh, in the evening that's the pound retail sales um, followed by Friday we have the ECB president uh, Draghi talking as well as the Canadian core CPI and retail sales in the evening so looking at the remaining days for this week itself some of the high impact news that you want to take note of definitely is the US dollar all right the FOMC the pound in terms of retail sales as well as euro all right and Canadian so speaking about that right this this is how we can we can then you know quickly scan the markets and know what uh, currencies we want to look at so having stated that um, I would like to share with you in this video right three pairs in terms of uh, technical as well uh, what are some of the opportunities that you can have on on the three currencies all right so the three currencies that i want to share with you in this video is euro pound euro kiwi as well as the dollar franc all right so let's start off with euro pound all right so we have mentioned that um, the later part of this week we have euro ecb president draghi talking as well as the pound retail sales all right so that gives us a, a quick idea that um there will be this high impact data coming on and that will definitely move price all right so that's where we look into technical and see if um, how we can leverage on this knowledge right that price will be moving and how can then we jump into the movement and predicting and anticipating that it move in a certain direction that is favorable to us right so looking at this all right um straight away i believe almost all of you will be able to also agree and say that this is currently in a downtrend all right and if you look into fundamental of the euro uh, as well as the pound all right the euro is definitely very weak um, pound in terms of short term because of the of boa being having a dovish tone um it is slightly towards the weak side uh, but if you look at it overall right um they are still planning to increase their interest rate either late 2016 or even early 2017 all right so fundamentally pound is still towards the strong side all right and euro definitely is on the weak side so having that you know the fundamental knowledge that how this this difference currency and the disparity in the interest rate or even the the, the tone of the central bank is going all right and in line with technical that gives us a very good confidence all right the extra confidence when we enter a certain positions all right so having said that then uh, what we are looking at is definitely in downtrend so what we want is we want to identify specific level or even regions or right, areas of which we'll be interested to enter all right so what we are what we what we usually do is we we use a lot of fibonacci over here so let me pull out my fibonacci tool all right pulling from the recent high to the recent low all right let me get the levels out all right as well as if i pull it from this level as well all right so what you see is there is a confluence of fibonacci level all right at the 61.8 and 50 percent retracement and if i drop a horizontal line around this region what you see is that there is a confluence of previous structural level as well all right so that's where if price pull back up towards this level all right which is the around the 0 0.7045 level all right so that's where we'll be looking for for opportunity to short the market all right so let me give you an example of how we're gonna execute certain trades all right so for us should we enter over here all right let me pull in the, the correct fit as well. Uh, pull on a okay, let me check. Okay, this is the right two. All right, let me drop in the seventy-eight six. All right, so how we how we usually trade this kind of pair is that should we enter at the at the Fibonacci around this level? 
what we do is we'll usually put stops slightly above the 618. Right, because we are we are taking in reference of the 50% retracement level. So our stop will be slightly above the 618, right? And our target will be at the previous structural low. Alright, so if you look at the risk to reward for this trade itself, alright, and I'm talking just on target one, alright, we have a risk to reward ratio of 2.1, alright, pretty decent for this trade itself. Alright, so what we are waiting for is in expectation that price will come back up. Right, and price will respect this level which has a confluence of Fibonacci as well as previous structural level and continue downwards. Right, so this is something that we are looking for in terms of the Euro Pound pair. Right, the level that we are looking at is 0 0.7045. Right, let's look into Euro New Zealand as well. Um, there's something okay, let me let me change the chart because. This is definitely not the ideal one. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so Euro New Zealand, if you look at this, price is currently in a consolidation phase. Alright, there's no clear direction. So having that in mind, that's where we, we have a high potential or high opportunity in identify a harmonic pattern. Alright, so how we do is we usually pull in Fibonacci too, alright, from the recent low to the recent high. And what you see is that this retracement comes in around the 50% level, right? So with a 50% retracement level, that's where we know that there's a potential bad pattern, right? And if I pull in the, the other level, right, the 88.6, the bad pattern is, sorry, the bad pattern completion, alright? Is where the 0 0.886 level is. Alright, so this is potential bullish bad pattern, and what we are looking for is for price to come down to this level, alright, which is the 88.6 around the 1.6350. Right, and if I if I drop in a horizontal line for you to see, right, previously we do have certain structural level as well. Right, you can see how price has respected this level. In the past as well, alright. So that's where it give you extra confidence as well in saying that you know we are not only trading the harmonic patterns, but we are also adding in support and resistance level to help us decide you know whether this is a trade that you want to enter. Right, but if you look into fundamental, uh, you know, longing the euro is actually not something pretty decent, or, you know, not something that is very aligned into the fundamental of the euro so that's something that you need to take into consideration as well are you going to take this trade as a form of counter trend you know trading the the retracement or even the bounce back All right so there's something that you need to take note or even if you know you want to reduce perhaps your risk on this trade itself so these are things that you want to take into consideration when you when you take a certain trade that might not be in favor in in, in terms of fundamental as well Right, but having said that, if this is this is definitely the level with which we are interested at, all right, and should price come back down, that's where we'll long this trade, all right, with with a stop just below your previous X level, all right. So that's about if you put in is about one point six, right, one point six three even handle, and how we put our target, all right, is we pull from the recent top, all right, to where we enter. And okay, let me clear the other level so it becomes clearer. And the level that we are interested at in terms of TP1, right? Target one is around this 3 2 level, right? And if you look at the risk to reward of this trade itself, it gives you a risk to reward ratio of 1.8. Fairly decent, right? And if you're going if you're going for the target two itself, the risk to reward ratio goes up to one is to three. Even better. Right, so things to consider is that you know that this is a counter trend trade in terms of the fundamental of euro, right? Then you might want to take your positions off at target one, right? But if let's say you have a trade idea that is in line with fundamental and technical comes in together, then you might want to you know put your target at a higher one, which is target two. So this is some some of the some of the things that you can maneuver over with when when fundamental and technicals are aligned, right? So the last pair I want to go through in this video is the dollar franc, right? So we have the FOMC coming in, and if you look at this trend, right, um, no doubt definitely it's an uptrend, and this is in line with the fundamental of the dollar strength, right? Um, there is a there is still a potential that the Fed will increase the interest rate at the end of 
this year. So looking at that, uh, you know, just looking at the technical level, we do have a very nice structural over here, right? Price has bounced once, two, three, four, and eventually break. So it haven't really tested this level back yet. So what we are interested at, all right, if we pull in our Fibonacci tool, what we'll be interested at is for price to pull back towards this level. And if you see currently what we have is a Fibonacci confluence of the 50% level. All right, so definitely should price comes back towards this level. Right, so that's where we are looking for a long opportunity. All right, as I mentioned, our stops will go slightly below the 618 and our target will be at a recent high. And once again, if you look at this risk to reward ratio, this trade gives you 2.8. Alright, so every percent that you risk, you are getting back 2.8 times. Definitely a very decent trade. Right, but what I want to show you in more advanced level, alright, is that on top of this, alright, so we are waiting for price to come back down, alright, we do not know whether it will retrace or not. But having said that, you know, what you are looking at on top over here, we do have a potential double top, all right? And if you look at the RSI, there is a significant divergence. All right, let me draw in so you can see it clearer, all right? So we have a double top with a divergence happening, all right? So what aggressive trader can do is to take advantage of this, this potential setup, all right? The double top divergence setup to go in aggressively in terms of counter trend trade, taking a short position and aiming for price to come back down right into this level which is the previous support level and exit the short position and enter on the long position all right so in other words aggressive trader can look into making into taking this trade shorting into the market taking profits off when price hits the previous support level and write the overall trend trade Right, so this is something that you might want to consider if you are, you know, you are more aggressive in terms of your approach of taking trades. Right, but having said that, uh, for us, we are more conservative in the sense that we do not really take this kind of counter trend trade. Right, but I thought you know it'd be it'd be it'd be also useful to share with you how you can actually identify and leverage on all this opportunity to even enter trades and potentially make a profit out of it. Alright, so having said that, um, these are the three pairs that I'll share with you in this video and I hope that you can gain certain insights, alright, not only just the opportunity in the market that is presenting to you, but the techniques and the methodologies and how we approach the analysis. Um, I hope that through this video, you, you actually pick that up as well and not just, you know, spotting signals and etc. Alright, so at the in this second half of the video, I would like to quickly share with you some exciting stuff that we have over here at FXP, all right? So for those who are who are familiar, what we do offer in terms of our clients is also... Uh, okay, let me show you, maneuver over a little bit about our website, all right? So our website that we run is the FXP Research, all right? So the whole intention of this website is to really share with you um, certain analysis, all right, that we are looking for and looking out at in the market as well as what we do over here is we run a lot of research and development meaning we do not stick and and just you know simply stick to one one methodology but we are always looking for areas to improve our approach towards the market all right that's where the r d come in in terms of trading and methodologies of researchers as well all right so having said that um what i'd like to share with you is that over the over the months that we run the FXP trade signal service, all right, to people who who are interested to not only trade the market, but along this way to also earn certain profits and to learn as well as to connect to myself, all right, uh, personally through through WhatsApp, through Facebook messages, or even through emails, all right. But I would like to share with you some of the features that we have and um some of the promotions that we have. So that, uh, you know, coming end of the year, you might be interested to, to take advantage of this promotion because uh, moving forward, we'll definitely roll out more, more features, all right, and more research and, and methodologies for our clients. And with that, um, the prices will definitely be increasing, all right. So that's where I want to reach out to you to, to take full advantage of the promotions that we have currently. 
right? So the idea of this is that we do not guarantee that uh, you make money from the profits, all right? There's no trade that is going to be 100% profitable. But what we want to share with you is the reality of trading, all right? We, that's where we come in as transparent as possible. And we even share with you, all right, um, our own performance, all right? This is an Excel sheet that all clients will have access to. Right, so this is this is the public one, so you do not have the November, but for our clients, we do have updates on all the signals that we send out, so that it's very transparent to you. All right, meaning if it's if a trade is a losing trade, we do show it to you as well. All right, and what I want to share with you is that not every month is profitable or even you know generating profits that are that are really decent. All right, so you can see over here that you know some months we do have. Uh, great profits, all right, like 33% return, 21% return, right? But having said that, you know, there are certain months that are generating, you know, less than 2% return as well. So to what we want to show you is, is that this is the reality of trading, all right? There is no way that you can generate 20 or 30% month in, month out, all the months, all right? So that's where we also tag our own account that we trade these signals so that you have the confidence that you know we are not just sending you the signals um, that that you know we don't trade ourselves right but what i want to show you is that we do track our own performance and so far this this account has been trading since june this year all right so that's about five months and we are we are pretty happy with the result all right um, an average of 4.2 percent per month all right but having said that definitely once again the r d team um, behind FXP research is always researching on, on ways and areas of which we want to improve, right? And, and I'd like to share with you that the target that I'm aiming for, right, personally is 20% per month consistently, all right? So that is something that uh, is a goal that I set and, and something that we'd like to achieve as well, all right? So there are some testimonials that I wouldn't go through in this video, but what I'd like to bring you through is um, the promotion plans that we have Right. So what we have currently, we have several plans, all right? the monthly subscription, the three-month subscription or, or the annual. But what I want to bring you through is the founder plan. All right. So what's the difference is that the founder plan is a one-time off payment right? that you commit to join us and we will provide you this service for a lifetime. So it's a one-time payment and all new features that we are going to upgrade or even include in our research will be provided free for you. So once again, it's a one-time off lifetime payment, right? And the original price that we are intending to charge is, a, is actually about 1.8, all right? But uh, with the promotion that we want to run out is uh, to, the, to the end of this year is actually to charge you just simply at eight hundred and ninety seven dollars all right so let me bring you through some of the things that you get as a client all right uh, and I want to emphasize that we are only opening up about 10 positions uh, for the founders so once the number hits 10 uh, we'll be closing this and we'll be charging at the 1.8 fee itself all right so let me bring you through what are some of the features that we'll be receiving uh, as a client all right, so we, the, the first segment that you'll be receiving is definitely the recent updates of the signals. All right, so we update here uh, on a daily basis, all right, together with a timestamp, what are some of the recent updates and activities on the signal, all right? And what we have is also the master list, which I share with you, all right? It's a, it's a Google spreadsheet that all our clients will have access to, all right? So let me bring you the month of November. Right, so this is where we update all our signals and you can see you know if it's running we have update status as well and if it stops up it stops out we do have as well all right and what's what's more interesting right is that we actually drop in all right a chart for you to to show you why we actually have that why we actually have that signal all right and this also serves as a tracking purpose because you can simply click on the load new bar button on trading view and you can see how the signals played out all right so that's really nothing for us to hide all right it's as transparent in terms of all those signals that we send it to you all right and month at the end of the month all right all all the time we will actually do, do a do a compilation of how we perform all right so at the end of october the month of October, I will 
our generate um, returns generated is about 1.63%. Right. The other thing that I want to share with you is uh, we recently rolled out the fundamental analysis all right, based on economic data. All right. So this is more on the quantitative side of the fundamental analysis. All right. Uh, and what we had is I, I basically compiled over the three years how the how the fundamental data has been performing. Right. So as a client, you do have access to all this information as well. All right. Uh, and this is updated on a weekly basis. So you can see how different countries in terms of their fundamental data are performing. Right. So, for example, over here, you can see that U.S. overall is in, in a bullish mode. All right. And what we do is we also drop you a weekly summary of what happened in the fundamental scene. All right. And if you look at the U.K., all right. Um, there's the labor market has 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 not performing up to standard, but yet overall is is improving, all right. But then that's that's a biased statement of you know whether the market fundamentally in terms of the data is is it neutral, is it bullish, or is it uh, bearish, all right? So moving forward, how we're gonna do this is we're so we're going to implement more information in terms of the fundamental aspects and how we can incorporate fundamental and technical. To give us a better performance in terms of our trading, all right? And of course, the last segment, uh, of course, you you do have um a technical analysis segment, all right? And if you enter it, this is where all all the technical charts are available. So meaning, in terms of the signals, we don't just send you the entry point, stop loss, and the take profit, but we do include all the charts that comes along with the signals, so that you can learn along the way, all right? Um how we generate those signals and why do we enter those signals all right um uh, and and the last segment is definitely the sentimental analysis all right so this is based on the commitment of traders report that is released every week all right so for those who are familiar is is it basically measure what are the positions in the futures market all right so this futures market is then indicative of how the currency markets is moving as well so give you an example you know in in the us dollar market all right just re released recently you can see the net position is still towards the bullish part all right and how you how then you can use the how we how we compile the cot index as well as the 52 weeks range changes all right and make as in and analyze all right based on this what is the overall sentiment in terms of the US dollar, right? And moving forward, how we're gonna use this is we're gonna combine fundamental, sentimental, and technical to make a very confident trade in the market. All right. So these are some of the things that you can access to, and definitely you have access to my personal WhatsApp, email, right, Facebook group, where where we can share ideas, you know. And if you are, you have certain question, that's where you can approach and ask. Us. Right, so the intention of this is really to assist you in your journey towards being a profitable trader. All right, so I'm, so this is uh this is all that I'd like to share with you in this video. Right, it's pretty long. All right, but once again, uh, I'd like to bring you back to the focus on the market itself. All right, so we do have FOMC coming in later today. All right, uh, over here. So for you, if you're day trading, do take note of all these events coming in. All right, with that, I'll talk to you soon and happy trading.